She's a theology teacher at Immaculata High School here in New Jersey. Is coming under fire for her stating her religious beliefs on Facebook. Quote, we need healthy families with a mother and a father for the sake of children and humanity. Even arguing that same-sex marriage is part of a, quote, agenda that aims towards a slow extinction of Western civilization. It's a post garnering nationwide comments, a lot of criticism from alums of the school and even celebrities like Susan Sarandon. Some are calling it a hate crime. They also question her authority as a teacher. So we're talking to a former pupil of the school. His name is Thomas Robinson. He's even started a petition garnering hundreds of signatures calling for an end to hate crimes like this and Tom what I really want to ask you is what why do you consider this a hate crime why isn't it just freedom of religious expression because it's it's uh, you know aimed at a specific group based on uh, sexual orientation that's what makes it a hate crime I mean that's what the definition of a hate crime is Tom let me ask you so is Catholicism a hate crime to you absolutely not absolutely not and I think that you can you can object to uh, gay marriage and not be committing a hate crime I think if you personally don't believe in gay marriage that's not a hate crime but if you accuse uh, homosexuals of re-engineering Western civilization and really to tear down what they what they are, then that is a hate crime. So, oh, so a person yeah, can sure. object to gay marriage, they just need to clear the language by you first? Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is that they can object to gay marriage as long as they aren't offending an entire group of people. Well, okay, so if objecting to gay marriage definitely does offend some people. So aren't you trying to silence this speech? Yeah. No, absolutely not. I would never want to... Uh, I would never, I would never say you can't, you can't, uh, you know. No, you just can't have a job as a teacher. Um, let me ask you, are you, are you still a Catholic or were you a Catholic or did your parents just put you in the school because it was a decent education? I, I've always been a Catholic. The audience right here is obviously leaning towards the freedom of speech. But what, uh, what I hear is basically a complete contradiction to our huge argument around the Charlie Hebdo event that happened when all of us said yes there may be something heinous that's written or drawn that we don't necessarily agree with but we do believe in the right to say it or do it. Unfortunately yeah. in this country they yeah, don't I believe think. that when it's related to progressive or liberal ideas because you can believe anything you want unless you disagree with progressive and liberal ideas today and that's a fact and the fact is many Catholics, many Christians, they don't believe in homosexuality, they don't think that it's okay but when somebody voices that opinion it, they're attacked. The yeah. same thing is happening to them. It's, it's frustrating and it's, yeah. it's, un, it's, it's not matter? good. It's not good. What's the agenda here? Are you, you know, you're in Hawaii. You're not, you're not impacted by this directly. You're not a student there anymore. You don't have any kids in the school. Uh, are you just trolling the internet and looking for trouble? No, I'm not just trolling the internet. I mean, there's a lot of people who are upset who, who are alumni. And so I just started the petition hoping to you know, kind of centralize that and, and maybe make a point to the school and say, you know, it's hate speech. This is this is hate speech. What you're saying has hurt people. It's offended people. And and it took off. I mean, it, it went much further than I thought it would. I thought now it would you're calling it hate speech, speech and not a hate crime. Right. Free speech is a double edged sword. You're free to say anything you want in this country. And there's a long tradition of saying hateful things. The court of public opinion happens to be an excellent judge, however, and you will be taken to task for saying things that are hateful. Mm -hmm. The question is, what's next? I think that she should be given the opportunity to respond. I think that the school should hold some kind of a hate speech awareness day, something like that. I'd like the school to at least say hate speech is wrong. I think we can all agree hate speech is wrong and there should be some kind of awareness about you it. You know, Tom, it's, it's, I guess the question is what defines hate speech? And I have to believe that a Catholic theology teacher talking about the 14th Amendment and Western civilization and natural law to put that in league with hate speech, I think is a stretch at best. And maybe that's why there hasn't been